Okay, back again. Uh, we're on, uh, I think this is video number four now. Um, I apologize about the multiple videos, uh, but uh, I'm not very uh, video savvy, so um, I have to do this in increments. Uh, but I'm about to put the uh, magneto back in, and uh, that's this guy right here, uh, which basically, uh, it's a bunch of magnets. As you can see, it sucked my screwdriver in there. And that's going to be inserted in here over the shaft. Um, so it can only go in one way, so it's, you can't really screw it up. I don't know if you can see, but there is a there's a keyway there, uh, about at the 12 o'clock position. I know this camera is not focusing very well, uh, but if you look here on top of the shaft, uh, right there, that's the keyway. So. They'll line up, so like I said, you really can't put this in the wrong way. Um, the only thing I want to point out to people, and I found out the hard way, put that down. Um, this piece right here, this black race right here, I'll call it, um, is part of the this whole thing. And uh, when I was originally taking this out, I didn't realize that. And I thought that this here separated from this and once this all gets put back together you'll see there's uh once the this goes in over the shaft there's a, a washer and a nut that goes on there so when i was trying to pull that off i had the washer and nut on there because i thought it was going to separate from here but it doesn't this is part of that so um definitely before you try to separate this from the shaft um you have to have that nut and that washer off and uh, you'll need a puller to get that off. Uh, you, you could probably try to pry it off, but uh, it, it's it's pressed on there pretty good. Um, I'll show you in a little bit the uh, the little puller that I use. They're they're cheap. You can probably get one online for like 25 bucks or something, um, or probably rent one from your uh, local auto parts store. I don't know around you guys, but around here you can go and give them a little deposit, and you can borrow the tool and bring it back. You get a deposit back. So, okay, so I'm going to try to set this camera back down again and uh, go ahead and put this magneto in place and uh, see what happens here. Okay, I guess that's close enough. Um, so again, just line up that shaft, get that in place. Again, it's it's full of magnets so it kind of wants to pull on you all right so I'm lined right up at that shaft now now again this is kind of pressed in there it's a tight fit that that's the way it's designed so getting it out you need a puller but putting it in basically you have to to pound it in um, per se I mean you don't want to damage it obviously but what I do is I take a socket that'll fit inside of here uh, preferably an old one that you don't mind if it gets broke uh, this is an old ProMaster or something, uh, but it's a three-quarter inch deep well socket, and it happens to fit in there really, really good. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to get my hammer. I'm going to hopefully smack that in place. Uh, bear with me while I find my hammer. Okay, back with the hammer. Um, I'm gonna. I got a little bit of uh, PB blaster here. I'm gonna give that a little squirt too. Don't know that it's necessary, but it'll probably help it push on there. Okay, hopefully that did it, and uh, once we put the nut and washer back on and tighten it down, uh, if it goes in any further, hopefully that'll pull it in place. Um, but it doesn't take much, it doesn't go in very far, to be honest with you. So, let's see if I can find the nut and washer. Alright, so, washer first, flat washer, lock washer, and then your nut. Uh, 
uh, 11 sixteenths. I'm just using a combination wrench here just to get it started. Now what's going to happen is this is going to want to start spinning on you when you're trying to tighten it. So what I did when I took it off, I got to do the reverse, is I wedged a wrench in here somehow. Of course you want to be careful not to damage anything. You don't want it hitting the coil or anything. But I wedged it up against the uh, footrest here when I took it out. So let's see. And of course I'm going the wrong way. Got to be on this side. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now that's wedged in there and it's wedged against the footrest. I guess I did have it right the first time. Um, obviously clockwise uh, to tighten it up. And at this point, I'm going to grab a socket and a ratchet. So I don't want to strip that guy. Okay, I guess this is a good time to pause because uh, i got to go find an 1116 socket. Uh, shall return.